Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I will be showing you how to install a mod pack from the Twitch launcher onto your Minecraft Java Edition server. The first thing that we need to do is install the mod pack onto our computer, if this has not already been done. To do this, navigate to mods, then to Minecraft, and then browse all mod packs. Here you can scroll through and pick which mod pack you would like. Today I'll be installing Project Ozone 2. However, this process is the same regardless of the mod pack which you have picked. Now, once you've picked the mod pack, click install and it will begin installing the mod pack onto your computer. This can take a while depending on your internet connection, so feel free to give it some time. Now, whilst that's downloading, let's set up our server so it's ready for the mod pack to be installed. So to do this, go to the control panel for your Minecraft server like I have done so here. And then you'll need to go to the reinstall tab on the left hand side. Here you can select Forge, make sure you've got Minecraft Java Edition selected also, and then you can select the version which the mod pack needs of Forge. In my case it's 1.7.10, however you can check this within the Twitch launcher by going here, clicking on the mod pack, and then selecting Minecraft version here. You will see on my case it says 1.7.10, but this is specifically on a pair mod pack basis, it is not all round, so make sure you select the right version otherwise it won't work. So once you've selected that, you need to select yes to remove all files. The reason for this is it prevents any corruptions or conflictions between previous files that may have been installed on the server. Now this does mean that you will lose your world and any other progress you have made on the server, so you can make a backup beforehand if you want to in the backups tab on the left hand side and click create manual backup. This will create a backup which you can reflect back to if you don't like the mod pack or want to change back for whatever reason. So once you've done that, click reinstall and then reinstall again. And then this will reinstall the server with Forge and the correct version so that we can go ahead and install the mod pack once it's finished installing. So basically our server is now ready to accept the mod pack. Now the server is ready and that the mod pack is installed, let's go ahead and install it onto the actual server. So to do this, navigate to the mod pack again by going to the mods tab, then Minecraft, and then to the mod here. You'll see it under the My Mod Packs tab. As you can see, I have Project Ozone 2 here. Click on it, and then click the little three dots in the top right hand side, and click Open Folder. And this will open the folder where all of the files for the mod are installed. So as you can see here, we need to highlight all of these. We need to right click click send to and then compress zip folder. This will make it easy to upload all of the files at once. Once this is done, name the folder, let's just call it Project Ozone in my case, and then let's go ahead and drag it to our desktop so it's easy to find when we come to upload it on the server. Now that's done, go back to the control panel for your Minecraft server, double check you're running the correct version, so we've got Forge 1.7.10, if we go to Twitch, it will say Forge 1.7.10 there. So that's all fantastic. Just make sure that all lines up, otherwise it won't work and you'll have some funny problems. So go back to the control panel, then go to files, click upload files here, then click select files, and then navigate to where you dropped the .zip. In this case, mine was on a desktop, and then click open, upload, and then give this some time to upload. Some mod packs can create very large files, so this may take a while to upload, depending on your internet connection. Once this is uploaded, highlight the file and click Unpack Archive. Now, allow it five minutes to unpack. You don't see any sort of loading here, but it is doing stuff in the background. Um, so do allow it five minutes to fully unpack everything. And then once you've given it five minutes, you can simply restart the server and you should be able to join with the mod pack installed. Now that I've given it five minutes, I'll go ahead and restart the server and then the mod pack should start loading successfully. Once it's finished starting, I'll go ahead and join the server. So simply go to your Twitch launcher, click play, and then it will start loading Minecraft with the mod pack. You will be presented with the Minecraft launcher like so. Make sure it says something to do with the mod pack you're using. Like here it says Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. So make sure it says that. If it says something normal, um, you may not have the mod pack installed correctly. So you'll need to reinstall it on Twitch. Now my server has finished starting up. I should be able to join it using the mod pack. And as you can see, I've just joined and it's got all the mods loaded in. And you can also check that in the console as it will say that I've joined the game, as you can see there. So if you run into any issues at all when joining your server, give it five to 10 minutes. Sometimes a server can take a while to start up. 
Other than that, if that doesn't help, contact our support on our website, message us here, and we'll be more than happy to get back to you and help you get your server working no matter what mod pack you're using. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you can now enjoy a mod pack on a Minecraft server hosted with us. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.